Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's Nathan Paul with Deer Blinds and Fishing Lines. Today is opening day of mule deer season here in Saskatchewan for muzzleloader. Myself, I can't really hunt till tomorrow. I can hunt today. I've got the rifle with me. Well, the muzzle loader, I should say, with me. However, I just don't really have enough time unless I shoot something really quick here to deal with it today. So I'm out looking for some spots. I just did a good walk, glassed the area, came across 15, 20 mule deer, mostly does, one small fork. I'm hoping to come back tomorrow morning, get set up early, wait for light, and see what happens. So I'm gonna put the camera away for now, but I'll either see you soon or I'll see you tomorrow morning. Honestly, say this is the first time I have ever seen elk this close to where I'm from. It's cool to see. All right, so this is our third day going out looking for mule deer today. I'm just heading to a spot that I know of. Do a little bit of bush pushing and then a sit later this afternoon, see what we can't come across. So, we're gonna go out, we're gonna see how everything goes, and my goal is to not settle early. I've got two months to hunt mule deer, I have no need to rush, so it's my first draw tag, I wanna make a count.
like a hit. happened to see him on the horizon and I couldn't say no. My first shot I reached out probably three, 350 yards with the muzzle loader and I heard the hit so at that point I knew there was there was no going back and uh, kind of snuck in to about 150, 125. Finished the job. Let's go take a look. Mule deer, and I couldn't be happier. There we go. So we get tied on. There's the antler seal. We're back in the kitchen with this mule deer. It is very gloomy outside. Not a nice day, so I figured we're gonna make some pressure cooker stew. All right, so we got a quick ingredients list. Some potatoes, mushrooms, carrots. I've already peeled the potatoes. It's, you guys know how to peel them, so. Also, we've got onion, and of course, the pressure cooker. So, I'm gonna peel the carrots real quick. I do save the peels because I do like to make stock when I make a roast chicken or elk bones or whatever I feel like doing at the time because I like to make my own broth basically. So, all right, I'm gonna get these carrots peeled. Now these are bigger carrots, so I cut them in half lengthwise. Before chopping them bite size. Alright, so the carrots are chopped, we're going to move on to the celery. Next, one whole onion, and through the magic of editing, you don't have to watch me peel it, cut it, or cry about it. So, we're gonna put all this off to the side. Mushrooms are already chopped up. Potatoes will cut up in a minute. And we're gonna brown up the uh, that mule deer and get it ready to go into the pot. All right, so, we're gonna chop up this mule deer backstrap here. And it's small enough to be bite-sized pieces. All right, and then we're gonna heat a pan with some olive oil, get it up to temp. We're gonna put in some minced garlic, brown it all together. Right here. And then, we'll be ready to go into the pressure cooker. The oil gets hot. We start getting the meat in. We're gonna brown it, season it, and get it into the into the pressure cooker. Again, real simple. A little bit of garlic powder.
little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. A little bit of salt. All right, so we're gonna round this up nicely. We're going to take it, some beef broth, and we're gonna get into the pressure cooker. We'll let that go for five minutes or so to give the meat a good head start as, well, you really don't wanna turn the rest of your vegetables into mush. So I'm gonna go chop the potatoes real quick while this browns, and then we'll get everything into the pressure cooker once it's all ready to go. Get our mule deer meat in there. And we don't wanna miss out on any of that because that is all flavor. So, pour in a little bit of beef broth. Deglaze it a little bit. Pour that in there with it. For a total of two cups of beef broth. We're gonna get the lid on. Let it go. Make sure you set it. That steam, that's closed. We're gonna let it go for five minutes. Let it depressurize naturally, and then we'll get everything in. All right. So it's been going for about eight minutes. Been off now for about five. We're gonna depressure it. While that depressures, we're gonna get the potatoes and our other veggie mixture, as well as our mushrooms, ready to go and into the stew. Can't wait. Once that little red dot goes down, been depressurized enough to open. Look at, let it defog a little. <laughs> Look at that. Now we're gonna get everything in. Then we're gonna add two more cups of beef broth. And four cups of water. Season. Again, just a touch more Everglades. Fresh cracked black pepper. And then lastly, two cloves of rough chopped garlic. Give it a good stir. Get everything mixed together nicely. And we're gonna get this closed up. All right, so we've got it closed up. It's gonna build pressure. It's gonna cook for about 25, 30 minutes. And we'll be back when it's ready to go. So while that depressurizes, I'm gonna get some cornstarch ready. All right, time for the big reveal. So now the one thing that I didn't get on film is I did add half a can of tomato paste. And uh, I totally forgot to do that before setting it, so I had to rip it off quick while the GoPro was charging. So now I'm gonna show you how to thicken it. 
All right, so in order to thicken, place it on saute so it can start to heat up. And we're gonna take one and a quarter cups of water, three tablespoons of cornstarch, mix it in nicely, and then we'll add it in. So once you have your cornstarch mixture, pour it in. And stir. And that's the consistency we're looking for. Enough that you can leave a streak. Look at that. All right. Let's get it in a bowl. Smells absolutely amazing. All right, so the stew is done. Took about 45 minutes start to finish. Get some carrot, some potato, some celery. Nice big chunk of mule deer. Should have waited just a little longer for that to cool down, but that is absolutely amazing. It's my first time making pressure cooker stew. It's nice and thick. The deer has a great taste. The potatoes are perfectly cooked. Let's try a mushroom here. It was absolutely fantastic. Could use just a touch more salt and pepper, but I'm pretty happy. So, watch this. Fork soft. Well, spoon soft. Cut that in half. Now that was good. We'll see you next time.